processing this cup with magnetic powder. So I just lightly brush on the magnetic powder, which forms bristles on the actual brush. The brush is made of a, just a magnet in a plastic casing. This is actually a disposable version of a magnetic brush. There are some more um, non-reusable brushes, but this one works very well. And these are the ones we're going to be equipping the deputies with for their portable print kit that they have in their patrol car. So they're and they're very easy to use. It's basically just a magnet on a wand inside of a plastic casing, and then you just dip the magnetic wand into the powder, and the powder's magnetized, so the powder itself becomes the bristles of the brush. So then the theory is only the brush is touching the object you're trying to print, so there's less chance of wiping away a print or damaging the print in any way. So you just very gently just go over the surface because you just want the powder to touch the surface and not, not the, the plastic casing. And it just adheres right to the print. This surface works great with magnetic powder it, and it's um, very easy to use, user friendly. It, the, it, the powder's not airborne, it doesn't get all over your uniform. and the, I think the deputies will be very happy to use this powder out in the field and have it as an option. Because conventional powder still does work on, better on certain objects such as glass and, and different surfaces, but plastic like this just loves magnetic powder. Then once the prints, you can see them, just take um, fingerprint lifting tape and pull it in smooth, gentle motion because you don't want bubbles or anything in your tape. And put the tape right over the print, press it down, making sure you got all the air bubbles out. Then gently pull the tape off the object and you have your print. And place it right on a backing card. And smooth it. Smooth it down. I let the let the static work for me in drawing the tape to the card so it's all smooth. And there's your print.